I'm in your face. I'm in your damn face. He's in his damn face. This breakdown is brought to you by Shady Rays. $20 off with code JOHNBOY20. All tied at six in the top of the 10th inning, but the Phillies have two runners in scoring position and only one out. So the Nationals are bringing the infield in to cut the runner off from scoring, keep it a tie game. That's a curveball for strike one. And then we got, I'm guessing that's a fastball, 89 miles per hour, strike two. Off the hands, jam shot. Both teams pointing to the little collision in the infield saying we need something out of that. The first run scores. The next runner is out easily. But the umpire says, no, he does score because it was obstruction. And Davey Martinez says, hey, what are you talking about? It was interference. And he says, no, it's obstruction. You got in the runner's way. He didn't get in your way. And he's like, I'm going for the ball. He's got to go around me. Doesn't I have the right to go for a ball? Now, here's the play. And it's pretty interesting what the umpires ruled because I, I think it's wrong. Even some umpires have said that this was probably not the right call. The defender has the right to go for the ball. But if he's not going for the ball, he can't get in the runner's way. So we're going to come out of this and the umpire is going to explain it was past him. And the rule was he has no chance to make a play. Davey Martinez is going to respond, but he should have had a chance to make a play. The guy got in his way, and he says, no, he got in his way. Davey Martinez says, no, he was trying to make the play. It was right in front of him. He says, nah, 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 nah. And he says, Dan, you didn't see it? You didn't see it. He says, no, he didn't have the chance to make the play. What play? Huh? The umpire's explaining to him. And the umpire is kind of explaining, I got this from his pool report, that he says, the contact came after the play, and the, and the fielder didn't have the ball, so he can't make contact with the runner after the play if he doesn't have the ball, to which Martinez says he could have had the ball. The guy doesn't just run in front of him. I'm says, no, no, no. He says, God, it's so bad. Looks at the other arm. Let's fucking go. What are we doing here? That shit. He even said it. No, he didn't He even said that. it was interference. That's what he said right here. I don't have to argue, but I'm arguing the right thing to do. And the umps explained to him again their position. It was after the play when the contact was made, blah, 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 blah. That's fucking bullshit. That is bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. And you know it. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. You fucked it up. Turns around, walks away, gets ejected. Now he's mad, ejected behind his back. Yeah. You have to toss me out? That's shit. Shit. You fucked it up. No, it wasn't that. Wasn't that. Wasn't that. No, he catches the fucking ball then. You would catch the ball. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> uh, you know you can. Fuck you. You catch the ball. You stand right here. You stand right here and catch it. You could do it. No, you do it. That's fucked up. Umpire starts walking away. He chases after him a little bit. That You're yelling bullshit. at me. Bullshit. Hey, yell at me to my face. Bull. Okay. I'm yelling at you in the face fucking right now. Yell at me to the face. Right in your Can't face. Yell at me and then right you in your turn face. around. Yeah. Right in your face. There you go. Don't do it now again when out. you're walking away right from now. me. Right now. Don't do that. I'm in your face. Yeah, it's I'm great. in your damn face. Do that again the first time. Yelling in his face. I got heated. He didn't have to wait till my back to throw me. Fucker. So that argument when when somewhere else i mean it started with a, a bad call and i do i think this um thought it was a bad call he's sticking up for his other ump friend and then then the phillies dug out they're gonna go look at it and check it out and let's look at it again from a bunch of angles too so here we go did the fielder make contact after the play that's what the umps ruled that he made contact after the play Ah, uh, that's the contact right there. It seems a lot like that's in the motion of trying to field that ball. Now, I don't think he was going to field it, but I think it was a genuine effort to field it. I don't think he was just trying to get in the runner's way. But this is what the pool reporter said. It said, why was obstruction called in that play? He said, in that instance, we felt the fielder had already attempted to make a play on the ball, and then the contact occurred. Once he does that, he's got to vacate. He's got to get out of the way of the runner. So once he tries to field the ball, once we feel like he's done that, he's tried to field the ball, it's his job to get out of the way of the runner. I know it's a very close. It's a judgment call. It's very close. That's the top paragraph there. I mean, what are they talking about? He's got to get out of the way. That's when he falls to the ground. He's out of the way. What are they talking about? There's lying? 
Look at the second paragraph. Exactly. By rule, if we felt like he was in the act of fielding the ball, then we wouldn't have called obstruction. But we felt like he already had an opportunity to field the ball, and then the contact occurred afterward, and then now it's on the defense to get out of the way of the offense, and then we felt, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. I feel like his dude wears my car. What a, what a bullshit reasoning. I wonder if they watched the replay, then went and gave that reasoning. Like, this is the contact when the contact made, and they're saying that, and that, and in live time, I get it, it's hard, but in the post game report that I just read, they've had the chance to look at this if they want. And he came back and said the fielder at this point had already made his play on the ball and needed to get out of the way of the runner. It was a a game changing run. The Nationals scored one in the bottom of the inning, but lost by one run. So that run, and he was out by so much. Anyway, that run won the game and lost the game for the Nats. So crazy. Just as crazy as getting $20 off each pair of premium polarized sunglasses at ShadyRays.com with code JOMBOY20. You lose them, you break them, they replace them. Shady Rays.